And in this school year, we are going to learn about some of Jesus' parables. There are many parables in the Bible. We will look at a few of them in the next few months. So what is a parable? Parables are stories. They are stories that Jesus told to teach us important lessons about the kingdom of heaven. So why did Jesus use parables? You know, by using stories of real life situations, Jesus' followers will be able to learn more about spiritual things. They will be able to grasp the secrets of the kingdom of heaven more easily. Secrets? Anyone like secrets? I love to hear secrets. Yes, God has wonderful secrets and he tells us about his secrets in the Bible. In Matthew 13, 11, after the disciples asked Jesus why he uses parables, Jesus replied, you have been given the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. It has not been given to outsiders. And in Luke 8, 17, it says, we are not keeping secrets. We are telling them. We are not hiding things. We are bringing everything out into the open. So what are the secrets that Jesus tells us are about? Heaven. God wants you to know about the kingdom of heaven. So today, we will learn about the first secret revealed about heaven. So we have this vault of secrets. We will add these secrets week by week. Today, the lesson one, secret number one, heaven is a real place and it is amazing. So what do you know about heaven? So the Bible tells us what heaven is like. That's in Revelation 21 and 22 and John 14. So God lives with us. That's in 21 verse 3. No more death. No more sadness. No more crying. No more pain. Everything will be new. Yay. And heaven glows like diamonds. That's in verse 11. And it has high walls around it with huge pearls as the gates. And each gate is a single pearl. Imagine that. The streets are made of gold. Oh, we don't need the sun because the glow from God, the glory, God's glory is all we need. Oh, the gates are never shut. It's always, they are always opened. And there are mansions. This is from John 14, verse 2. And Jesus has been getting ready for us to come for more than 2,000 years. Can't wait. Come, Jesus, come. And in Revelation 21, verse 19 to 20, here it talks about heaven's foundation. And there are 12 layers to heaven's foundation. And each layer is made up of a special jewel. So what is a foundation? Where can you find a foundation in a house? It is under the house, under the buildings. So a foundation is the lower portion of a building usually located under the ground, which supports a superstructure and the dirt around it. A basement is the foundation of a house. And usually a foundation or a basement is not the best part of your house. It's not the prettiest, the most beautiful part of your house. But look at this, even the foundation of heaven is so beautiful. And God wants us in on his secret about this place called heaven. And God's secrets about heaven are amazing. Let me ask you a question. 
How do you get into a house? You need a key. And how do you get into heaven? Do we need a key? No, we don't need a physical key to get into heaven, but we need something else. Can you guess what it is? Jesus. In Revelation 3.20, here it says, Here I am. That's Jesus. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. I will eat with that person and they will eat with me. The Bible also says in John 14 verse 6 that Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way into heaven. And you have, we have to walk with Jesus to get into heaven. Jesus opens the way for us to enter heaven. Jesus is giving you an invitation to heaven. Whoever believes in my name will live forever in heaven. So will you accept his invitation to heaven? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you have shared with us your very special secrets of heaven. Thank you, Father, that you have invited us to go to this special place and that Jesus, you, the Son of God, has made the way for us to get there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Well, Lord, so good to be back together again. So good that we've gathered together again. Good to have rest that we had. Um, but we're so excited about this year, Lord. So excited about um, learning about your stories, about the kingdom of heaven and all it's going to teach us. Thank, thank you that heaven is real. Yes. Uh, and I know that very, very clearly right now because of my friend Josh dying. I know it's real. And thank you, God, that you have the final word in our lives and in our deaths and in all things. And the final word is eternal life. Thank you for that. Um, so thanks for this gathering us together this morning. We love you, Lord, and we love each other. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.